Hello everybody and welcome once again to Surviving with Blood Magic. Today we're off to the uh, end and see if we can sort out the Ender Dragon. First of all I need to make some potions. Let's get started with those shall we? So the potions we're going to need, I'm going to make some regen potion of two different types. I think there's two different types of regen potion. Uh, I should be able to take those and those. Actually I'm going to make sure I take the bottles with me as well before we go. Um, Right, have I got an orb with me? I haven't. That's not very good. So first of all, we'll make, we need to make some potion flasks. So potion flasks are basically one bottle, one glowstone, one netherrack, and actually one redstone. And that should make a potion flask. But I need the orb. I'm going to get the orb. The orb should be in here. Oops. It doesn't matter which orb I'll use. I use the magician's blood orb. The other ones are over the other base, I think. So yeah. This is going to use LP from the network and make one of these. As soon as this one's finished, we'll make the second potion flask. They don't stack. As you can see. Now, with this one, we can actually, with the uses of this one, we'll have a quick look at that. Um, we're going to do this one. It's going to give us regeneration, so a gas tier. Okay, so we've got that one, and then we put in a gas tier. We're going to make two of these. We're going to make one for... Um, a long one and a one for a regen two. So let's put that one in there. And a regen two as you want like that one. So we'll have two potion flasks of regen. I think I'm only going to actually need one. So now the next thing we can do with these we we've got uses of these. So I've got the uses of these. So let's go to enchanting first. So we've got a simple lengthening crystal which will give us a one minute regen um and if we put a power one, we'll get a regen two for 11 seconds. So we need to make these up first of all. So it's gunpowder, um, nether wart, and lapis. And the other one, so I'll put those in. Gunpowder, nether wart. I should have two nether warts. I haven't got them out. And lapis. Let's get the two nether warts out of here. Wrong chest. Actually, I don't know. I forgot those. I didn't know that. Let's put those two in like that. And that'll make the um, power crystal, I think. A lengthening crystal. And we do redstone, we'll make the power crystal. Like that. So now with the power crystal, a gas tier and a regen, we will get a regen 2 flask. And you always have to use the same gas tier here. Oh. But the regen to wrong one. Um, what happened to the? Oh yes, of course. That's regen two, and that's the regen one. So this will give us a regen for one minute, as opposed to twenty-two seconds. So we basically got eight uses. So we've got eight minutes of regen, and around about one and a half minutes of regen two if we need it i'm going to keep the living armor upgrade healthy on us because we need that now the other thing i've been doing is i set up another bow so this one if you remember last time it's night time i'll come and have a quick yeah i'll have a quick sleep i think so we can get rid of the rain if you remember last time i thought that i saw the um uh the power on the bow go down now let's have a look because i've got the other I haven't got anything with me at the moment. So we've got different types of tartaric gen gems in here. And there should be one, and I think it's in here. Yes, it is. With, I may, I've, sorry, I've upgraded this tartaric gem. So now it's a uh, it's a grand tartaric gem. But we've got nearly, well, 3,500 uh, will in there, raw will. So now this makes a difference. Let's have a look at this. We know it's 2.5 with just a bow by itself. But with the raw will... We're getting six, and on this one here, we're getting twelve. So that has improved. But let's take out. Let's put this one away and take out some the grand one, which contains destructive will, and do the same test over here. Now, with destructive will, it actually actually has a negative effect, strangely enough. And we change this one over here. 
this is the one without the enchantments so it's stronger and it definitely is stronger every time I've done this it's stronger but I don't want to do that one. I, w <laughs> I don't want to use um, destructive will because destructive will is too powerful and destroys things. So we can't see where the arrow lands. So let's take this one out of first. So this is vengeful will. This makes the arrows go faster. So I believe. So let's try this again now. So we're getting four with the normal bow, and with this one, with the flame and the rest of it, we're getting twelve point five. So that's fine. But it's just the destructive will one that's actually slower. We shoot it out here, you can see that we get the the, th um, the flame, so we can see where it's landing. So that was, I just wanted to have a quick look at that test. And the other one I wanted to do, so we won't take that with us, is the two two swords. I put mending on both these. So this one's got leech two and in sharpness, f leech three and sharpness five. So what that means is that when you hit something, you'll get their health return to you or two of their hearts I think it is in this case so let's test this one 8.5 7.5 five, and that'll probably be sufficient I reckon so we're going to take this will with us the greater Tartaric will the bow is probably not going to actually do the damage to actually kill the the ender dragon it's probably going to we're going to probably end up using the sword so let's just put away the ones which I don't want I don't want this one here because it's smite and I don't want this bow. I might need it later on. I probably don't need the pickaxe, but I will take the bound sword. Because the bound sword, let's have a look at this. What chance have I got on here? I've actually got sharpness 5 and looting 3. So this one, let's have a look, 7.25. So it's exactly the same as the other sword. Destructive will does improve the swords, there's no doubt about it. Um, I'm going to keep this tomb with us. Let's have a look here. We probably want the sigil of Ender Severance with us. Transportation sigil we don't need. This is one that will actually transport something away for us. So, so we might have a... At the moment I've set it up so it will allow to move spawners around. But I'm not going to take this one with us. So sigil of the claw will take with us. The air sigil will definitely need that one. Ender Severance will need that one. Teleportation sigil will probably need that one. If something goes wrong, we can get back home. Um, why have I got a demonic slate with me here? I think that was just from testing this stuff before. Um, I don't need these two with us. We'll take a chest. We don't probably need it. We don't need those, but we do need some arrows. And I have got my ordinary bow here. So if I run out of arrows, I will take some. We've got infinity on this bow, so we don't need to worry about running out of arrows. And I think that's possibly all we need, except some bottles here and some building materials. And I know why I need building materials because I've actually done this once anyway. I've got this. I don't need that with me either. So basically, minimising what I'm taking with me. I probably will need the a pickaxe, so we'll take. I'll leave that one here and what was the other one we didn't want with this this one here we don't need to do any tinkering of rituals now is that everything i need no i need some more food i guess let's take another let's fill up that to get 64 fish which is a reasonably good regen thing actually in fact it'd be better to use some meat wouldn't it i've got four steaks here if I look at cook state, if I look at this one here, if I do cook these up, this might be a good idea. Let's cook these up because they give you a better saturation than um, it'll give us better saturation than than uh, what I've got at the moment. Fish, so that's got basically four and a half saturation, and the cooked steak has got. I'm just going to figure out how's that five and a half saturation and four heart um, four food bars refilled, which is great. So we'll take those with us actually. But I think we'll prefer that one over this. We'll prefer the steaks to the cooked salmon. We'll use that later on if we need to. So I have actually got healthy five. I'm just waiting for the last one of these. And then we'll go over to the fortress. So the, another, so the fortress or the stronghold, it's where I mean, is here. And I'll see you in a second when I'm there.
Right, here we are. This is actually a slightly unusual um, stronghold. I've not seen one like this before. I've got some bits and pieces in here because I've been here before. I probably don't need that chest with me at the moment. Oh, it won't do any harm to take it, I don't think. As it, it was split up, there weren't the library parts over here and there was no way through. I made a way. See, I can see I've dug the way through. I don't know if I've shown you that already, but we'll, we'll do that. Come back and do that later on. Over here, oh, I do need something out of here. If I haven't shown you, I need the ender pearls. I've got to be careful with these ender pearls, I will be honest. Make sure I put them in the right place to open up the thing. And of course, we've got the spawner here. And I don't want the spawner. So let's just get rid of the spawner. Because it's only silverfish and they have no use in this pack. So we're going to be careful just putting these into this. Make sure I don't miss hit because I've only got 12. Should be all I need, of course. If I, th if I throw one and I've got a problem, <laughs> lose it. Right. Here we are. Time to go. Before I need that, I need this in my hand, don't I? And I'll actually eat before I go as well, just to make sure. Oh, that's each piece of fish. To make sure that we've actually got full health and a bit of regen ready. So I've got in my hotbar the air signal I'm going to need and the signal of holding. I probably don't need that one. The one I probably do need is teleportation. So I've activated the signal of under severance and the signal of the claw. Signal of holding has got magnetism on at the moment and the seer signal, we probably don't need that one either. So let's go. So you see the problem <laughs> why I need building blocks. I've actually come out on a on a plat you see I've been and done this before. I've done a platform here which with no um I can't get through past, so let's just build this up a bit. Because the dragon will come out here and attack me. So let's get in here. This is why I need the pickaxe, of course. Now we've got and I need to start going down as it happens, so we'll go down as well. <laughs> as you can hear, he's already it. he's already going to attack us. In fact, this this comes out on another little island, I think. I'm probably around about oh, too far down. Let's go across over here. I'm didn't sure how far actually I've got to go out. Here we go. So here we can actually get out safely onto this platform and unfortunately this is another little island in here so we've got to pack this one out as well so we'll just do that make sure we've got three across in each of those now we have got jump which is good because that means i can actually jump up here easily enough now as soon as we get up here we've got to go and start attacking these things haven't we so let's get the bows ready and see if we can shoot these things from so it's too low. Oops. Now I've got the bottles handy because he's bound to have done some um, dragon breath, and this will actually clear away the dragon breath as well. So that's that's a handy thing to have. I've just seen. Been, maybe I hope I didn't look at those. Let's try again with this thing. No, nope, one more, a little bit higher. Uh, nope, no luck. So right, let's try. Let's go up in that case. Ha! Huh. It's actually not so easy. Alright, got it, good. So I should be able to attack this one now with no problem whatsoever. And I should be able to go and do the one over this side as well. I might be able to do this one. Oops, I'm not careful. This is where the bottles come in handy when you're on one of these like this. Oh, actually, my health has gone down already. Let's quickly eat. I mean, drink. Probably I should take a, a, a two when I'm actually at this stage because it's bad. Now he's doing now he's doing his thing. Let's see if we can fly across to the next one of these. So that's oh. Now can we get that one? Yes. That one's already been destroyed. 
So let's go and fly across to this one. Actually, the one I'm interested in was, of course, is the one over there, and I'm taking a lot of damage again. And my regen's gone. Huh. Of course, there's only 11 seconds worth of regen on that one, so... Okay, now I have to be quick with my pickaxe and start breaking this thing down. The good thing about this is it happens... is when he does his dragon breath, he doesn't tend to attack you underneath here. So now, actually, it's a bad place because I can't... I should really done it from the side. Because I'm going to be shooting it from that pillar over there, aren't I? Let's see if we can get that. Oops. Right, my regen is still not so great. Let's get the one minute one going. Oh, that's regen two. Regen one minute, that's fine. Run away from that. I'll concentrate on getting the dragon bath later on when I've actually got the pillars out of the way here. Of course, I've got my... Um, let's see if I can get this. Yes, I did. Good. Wasn't sure they could do that one. What am there? Oh, he's broken his thing, hasn't he? Has he destroyed that one? Here we go again. How's my regen? It's not too bad this time. So we'll go up here. Now, did he destroy that crystal? No, he didn't. But I did. And the next one's going to be hard, so I've got to... This one's actually a difficult one. Let's jump down there and fly up again. And now, we're going to break that from this side, I guess. So let's just have a look. There's another crystal over there, and there's probably one up here. Let's just... Let's see if I can deal with that one. It's actually really difficult to shoot the ones with the cages on from over there anyway. What has it gone to? Yes, here. Ooh. Good. The reason I'm... Oops. What's happening? Is it attacking me? All right, let's go up to this tall one here. It might be easier to, to shoot the high one from up there. Oops, I saw that coming. Let's have a look. No, nope, I can't do it. So you can't really get these from up here very easily. Very difficult. Might be possible, but very di Oops, taking some more damage. Now oh, I need to go up to a higher one to do that one over there. Maybe this one will be fine. Oh! I can actually do it, and I can't do it. It's not easy to do when you're flying, of course. Right, good. Let's see if we can get that one. Yep, got it, no problem. And that one, a little bit higher. I've got a few seconds now because it's flapping. And I think they're all done. So now we can. We don't. Is that an angry. Enderman, I don't know, it's an angry, ang angry Enderman or not, let's try it. see if we can attack him now. Alright, he's doing his flapping, we're, we're behind him, so that's great. Let's go and get this sword on him. While he's doing this, we can just hit him... Then we can go away, and then we get the bow out again. Where has he gone to? Oops. Taking damage, because I've... Oops, I've got an Enderman in the way. He's angry with me. But he can't teleport away, which is good. Ha! <laughs> now, nah, let's get rid of this stuff here. Some more over there. Let's go and get that. See, it doesn't hurt you when you actually, it looks like it's hurting you. Some more of it. I'm not actually attacking while he's doing this. Now he's, now he's flying, flapping again. Let's go and get him from behind. Sorry, a bit loud there. Two. You 
threw me up a lot, but that's not a big deal. We can get around that, no problem. Probably need to eat. That should give me enough regeneration. Whoops, another enderman that's a bit irritated with me. Track number two. Second ender pearl. It's really quite. I find it quite hard to destroy as it happens. But judging the, because I've got vengeful will on this one. Oops! Right now I should be able to fill up the last twenty-five bottles. Nope. Where is he? You can't shoot him when he's actually in that position. By the way, he were, Oops! Was attacking me too. He's moved, okay. Oops, keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> I should be pressing the. I'll turn the um, strap right then and I missed the button. Oh, I annoyed somebody. Let's have another go at this. that have gone. He's not doing his thing at the moment. Yes there is. Oh. Ah. Oh, I filled them all up. So now I've got 64 bottles of, of Dragon's Breath, which will be Enough, so now let's see if we can eat a bit, regen a bit. Now, where is he? Over there, okay. Is he going to come and do his flapping? Yes, he is good. So we should. Oh, it must be very close to being... Where's he gone to? Ha! Huh. There we go! And the man's irritated. No big deal. So there we are. One Enderman, one Ender Dragon down, and we have our way back again. And we didn't need to use too much regen. So look, see, we can eat now, of course. And there's quite a few of these um, Endermen which are a bit weak. Let's go and find one. Here's one over here that's a bit weak. And this one over here is a bit weak. Of course, I can change this bow, uh, this weapon, and use the. And we'll, uh, sorry, use the uh, <laughs> bounded sword. And this will give me some. Um, oh, okay, I've got two blood shards in that case, didn't I? Got six ender pearls from those four that I've just killed. Of course, another one. I've to sort him out. As it happens, I don't need any any more blood shards because I've got stacks. So the next thing we can do here, of course, now is either go back home, which is probably what I'm going to do. I'm not sure I need the dragon's egg for anything. I don't think it's got any uses in blood magic anyway, but we'll um, go back home and I shall see you there. Here we are now I've just been you'll see my health has gone right down to 10 and that's because every time you change dimensions you lose this health so I'm going to just quickly whip down here and regen a bit and I'll see you back at the top when I'm fully fit 
and well. Right, here we are back again. Let's have a quick look at our inventory, see what we've managed to pick up. So we've got some endstone, of course, as we were breaking up those things. We've got 10 ender pearls, 64 dragon's breath, some weak blood shards, because I was grinding those mobs, and some iron bars, because of breaking the stuff down. And actually, that's the lot, I think, that we've got from there. So we'll have another go back to the end now. We'll actually go and get some more stuff. That's my chest of bits and pieces. Um... I know, let's put, a, I want to just put some of this stuff away here that I've got. The the uses for the Dragon's Breath is basically um, to make lingering potions. So we've got the uses of that. So you're going to make lingering potions of weakness. And the uses of that one is basically things like arrows. So you can get um, uncraftable tip potions that are very useless. Uh, and an arrow of weakness, which gives minus four attack damage. I'm not sure I fully understand those. I need to, to have a look at it. And then, of course, you've got weakness lingering potions from. Is that a. What have we got here? Weak, okay, weakness 20 and one minute. So, by adding red, redstone to that, you get to increases itself up a bit. So, that's what we're going to. Maybe I'll do some of that. I'm not sure. I think at the moment, what we're going to go do is we're going to go and. Uh, see if we can get some shul shulker boxes because they're very useful. I'm going to take these ender pulls with me. I don't need the bars. I wonder if I can get rid of those anywhere. Uh, get rid of them in there. So the ender pearls I'll keep and we'll put the end stone in here for the time being. I'm going to keep the cobblestone with me. Is there anything else that I really want in? Don't want in here. I don't want to have the um, lingering potion. We'll leave those into in this chest here. As you can see. I actually went gust hunting and actually did increase the number of gust tears I got reasonably substantially. I think that's basically all we're going to need for this thing. How many hours? 102 levels of XP I've got now, of course. So, I'll be over there and I'll see you in a second when I'm on back at the end. Actually, I don't have time to go and do some of that to this episode. We'll go and do that next time, I think. First of all, we're going to have a look at something I've built over here. If I right-click that, sort of left click in it i went and i had a go at attacking the um ocean monument out here and what i've done is as you can see i set up a well of suffering let's get into this but i've actually got two boats with me um we'll quickly have a visit to it and i don't want to spend more than a couple of minutes doing this and um, what i want to show is i set up the two things two in rituals here one here is the well of suffering as you can see what I'm going to do is get out the boat. Oh, so I'm not very good at doing this sometimes. I'm getting attacked already. But you can also hear that the Well of Suffering is, is sorting out some of these guys. Just cut us if it's way there. And I got my bow with me, so let's just destroy that thing. You'll notice that at the time that happened, it also knocked away the boat. It didn't destroy the boat. You'll find that the boat's probably in this chest in here. Yes, it is. <laughs> There's definitely one or two uh, guardians around cutting ground. I just want to get out of here, actually, because I want to show you two things, if, if it's possible. If I put down a boat like this... Oh, he's bashing me. Well, I'm trying to put down the boat. Good. And the other boat, I put down the other boat beside it here. Oh, I'm going to get hit again, aren't I? <laughs> but if I forget that if it's way quick enough, I can get out of his way. And what happens is that the guardians are actually jumping into the boats. <laughs> because it's by the well of suffering, they, they do get ground, which is quite nice for them. There's another one. Where is he? Over there. Unfortunately, the, the bow doesn't work very well underwater. But it works effectively enough. <laughs> you have to be short-ranged for that one. And the, and the explosions work has a dual effect one of them is hurt you and you can see my hearts have gone down a little bit um let's demonstrate that it doesn't do destroy blocks so it's not very effective at doing um anything else let's drink some of this uh night vision potion and we can see better i haven't found in here at all yet so far um which one is it the room of i think it's about this level isn't it Oh no, that goes straight outside. I'm looking for the 
one of those rooms we shall have a, sp a sponge room that's what i was looking for goodness right there's one down there and it, you'll see the effect it sort of does hurt them quite a lot another one down there just by hitting the wall beside it like that or the floor it will actually kill them oh, there's quite a few down here aren't there okay see it's that one got two on go and i actually taken quite a lot of damage let's just make sure it, I don't want to get that one hurt. That won't hurt. It's too far away. And I get the the, the potion effect or the, the effect from the things there. I'm not sure. I knew I was going to have a look at this. So that's basically all I wanted to show you. Actually, it happens quite. Except for the fact um, I wanted to show you the the other bit as well. The boats, because <laughs> that's quite fun. Watching that. You've got some doors. I've put some doors down here too, just as, a, as an air trap if I want to get out of their way. It's a good way to get out of their way if they're not like this one has I've got near it, you can't get me anymore. They'll swim away. Because you can't get me because it's not high enough. Anyway, the other thing is they will actually go into the boats. And it's just fun to watch. <laughs> in fact if I can't there we go. So I shall be honest, actually what I'll do is I'll get up to a safe place here. On there. So I'm actually out of range of the of the guardians here so they can't actually attack me while I'm good while I'm doing my farewells. So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Next time we shall be off and do the end cities or at least it get because I believe that the um you can use it oh what's it called? Electra. The Electra with the um, armor to actually have some more flight, which is would be quite nice because then we've got the air signal to go up and then the Electra to, to glide along. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.